Good holy everyone. Today, we will going to give analysis to the work of Sarah Douglas, in which it is a short story entitled The Tower Room. This analysis will be entitled Stuck in the Daydream and Analysis. To go further, may I present to you the group members. I am Shilin B. Martinez. And I am Flavel May B. Naraga. And we are going to present our final text analysis. To proceed, let's go to the talking points of this presentation. The first one is the introduction. Second is the analysis to be followed by elaboration. And the last one is the conclusion. Introduction. Sarah Douglas is not her birth name. It is actually Sarah Wernicke. However, her publisher, HarperCollins Australia, had insisted that she choose a different surname. So she went for Douglas, a name she would have wanted had she been a boy and added an extra S to feminize it. She was born in Pinola, a small town in the southeast of South Australia. She has two older sisters and an older brother. The family lived on a farm called Gundelga. Sarah loved the farm and hated it when she was seven. The family later moved to Fisher Street in Malvern, living in an old, gently decaying bluestone Victorian house. Sarah attended Methodist Ladies College, which was gentle, gentile, and caring, and totally oblivious to the social revolutions of the 60s. The main character of the text are a woman and her husband. The plot focuses on a woman trapped inside the tower. The major theme that is being presented shows isolation. The purpose of the author is to show the crisis being faced by the woman and how her husband handles the situation they are going. The author expresses her work in a short story format that shows sentence variation and imagery. Analysis. This analysis will use the reader response as a liter literary lens, which will, will focus on our response reaction and our personal interpretation of the short story entitled The Tower Room by Sarah Douglas. So there are three points in elaborating our focus or our thesis statement. First is she had been young in the ways of magic and foolish. She had come to this tower seeking answers, but had been trapped by its enchantment. The author's motivation for composing these sentences is not known. The way the author wrote these sentences cannot be readily comprehended since it has a deeper meaning. And if you dig further into these phrases, you will discover that they are about the woman's horrible past which has doomed her current existence. As the author points out, one's past experiences have a significant influence on one's present and future lives, as well as on their happiness and well-being. The second one is outside in the dark, dark tower giant's room, wind scream, sea shriek, she sat on her stool in the room at the top of the tower, weeping. The better risk irony of all that was if the tower known she wanted to go, then let, let it would let her. The meaning of these lines cannot be grasped in a single reading, but it does need a great deal of com com comprehension on, on our part as a reader. The author stresses in these lines how the woman was in a, in a crisis throughout the story, which even the wind, waves, and tower were aware of, of and even felt the same. The last is, when would he ask the right question? She thought, when would he ask, would you rather stay here? 
But that was not the question a loving husband asked. He left. After reading these lines, you will quickly grasp the literal meaning of the words that have been utilized to convey their meaning to the reader. Like the husband who sheds light for the woman can't even help her. But if you read between the lines, however, you will discover the deeper message of the words, which describes how the woman realizes that her husband's love for her is not that deep because he simply said, would you rather stay here rather than saying, I'll stay with you, which is the typical response of a person who is truly madly in love with someone. Conclusion. First point of the dark past well, of the woman. Next is the highlight of the woman's crisis in the story. And the last is husband's lending of hand that is now used for her wife's situation. The text was overall sad and misery, pain, and jailed by the darkness of the past. The better risk irony of all was that if the tower known she wanted to go, then it would let her. If the dark past already know, knew that she wanted to go out of it, from it, it would be easier for her to get the freedom she seeks, but she ends up being caged and isolated from, from her husband. And, and that would be all. Thank you.